Life at the Edges is an exhibition all about life, biology, and organisms in extreme environments. That's a relative concept, it's relative to us. So it challenges us to consider where other organisms live, in space or in the deep ocean or in volcanoes. And maybe those organisms consider our existence extreme. So what you see here are um, nine containers and they all um, have a sample of an extremophile and this particular extremophile can withstand a really high salinity. These are the type of species that were around long before we were and stay long after we're gone, so I think that's pretty special. People are welcome to come and sit on the beanbag and watch uh, the extremophile conference. It's a bit of a farce, the tardigrade is a bit of a megalomaniac. Maybe as an earthlings, we don't understand life in outer space anyway. Uh, and we are asking this organism to help us understand what is the possible life out there. I suppose I keep coming back to Kubrick. There's something amazing about that position as us as humans in this unknown space and how cinema has tried to create it. And then I have this actual footage of really unknown space. I hope the people who visit Life at the Edges see a bit of themselves in the show and the passion that we all have for exploration uh, and pioneers. But I hope they also see a critical question um, about whether we should explore, how we should explore, and who should explore. People are always wondering, why do space exploration? By exploring outwards, it forces us to explore inwards as well and think about Earth and the way we treat Earth. I hope people see the relationships between trying to grow plants on Mars and solving climate change here on Earth. They're very similar problems. It's all about increasing biodiversity and drawing down atmospheric CO2. I've created three artefacts and three associated scents which allegedly come from different landscapes, different topographies of the future. Instead of talking about everything that's going wrong, there's a lot of solutions there, so burning down plastic, creating volcanoes to try and cool down the Earth's atmosphere, which is a bit too mad. And it was all done through smelling and through your nose, so yeah, it was just really interactive and I really enjoyed it. So. The video of the volcano and the sculptures, that was really nice. When I'm casting these pieces of sculpture from molten lava at the volcanic vent, I find that a very symbolic artistic gesture. More or less everything in the world is made of lava. This is the earth being created right in front of our eyes. So we have four different types of meteorites here. They're only small fragments of what would have been a huge meteorite. For this one it would be 26,000 kilos. I really like the asteroid project, that looks interesting, it's a nice concept. This building is called the Analemma Tower and it is a building that is attached to an asteroid. We just want to spark imagination. Perhaps we're in a renaissance of the era that lionized explorers like Amelia Earhart and Shackleton and this show looks at both the good and the bad of exploring life at the edges and becoming a life form at the edge. So the Mars Desert Research Station is in the middle of the Utah desert and I wanted to recreate uh, the cramped kind of living um, conditions and also to show you how simple life can be when it's stripped back. In particular I liked the anti-gravity espresso cup upstairs. I thought it's amazing. The VR piece was really cool, really immersive and you feel like you were there. It's a 360 virtual reality piece, imagining what it would be like to not only survive on Mars, but to thrive as a human species and a new colonist. So this one is seeing how tardigrades respond to living in the magnetic fields of the gas giant planets in our solar system. Then how we can project to a kind of a human post-terrestrial future and how we might need to adapt to a whole different set of evolutionary circumstances. The stuff about the fruit flies, I think, downstairs, was probably the most interesting I found. Well, they're evolving flies to live on Titan. It's nuts, it was very scary. The design's really cool, I really like it. Great, it's really, really good. Yeah, I love, I love it, I really love it.